Natalie up power back. Welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I'm going to be jumping in with 10 tips and tricks to help you save some electric on your build or just all around general electric tips to keep your advanced boats running. Because I have had a few problems with my own electric circuits and different stuff, and these 10 tips and tricks aren't exactly in any order or anything, but they are just general tips to help you stay moving stay going stay keep some electric in your batteries for your ship and number 10 i got here is you want to set up these generators whether those being the small ones you can put like on a small axle or huge ones you've dedicated a big engine to you want to put some of those ones and then connecting them up to the battery but nothing else only connecting them up to the battery will help you charge. There are some bugs if you connect them to other things they won't always send the power to the batteries and hopefully they have resolved them but just in case they haven't been connecting them up to the batteries will help you keep some charge. I know it is very slow and painful to get battery power back into there but anything helps when you're running with it. So my next tip number nine is um you want to bring enough fuel for your engines that are creating power here so even though this isn't the best example i've got right here like on my latest creation my huge ship the uss storm runner i have a huge tank where i spawn in fuel to actually run both of the or actually all four of the engines and usually i can create a little bit more power for myself when i'm out in the middle of nowhere and i need a bit extra fuel so just remember to bring plenty of fuel especially for the energy producing motors uh, my number eight thing for energy is you don't actually the lights on your ship don't actually use that much power all things considered especially when you're running it off of a big battery i mean the smaller batteries may be used a little bit more by the lights but in general compared to other things if you're only using a few lights it doesn't use that much power there are a lot of other things that drain the power much more so my number seven tip here that I have for batteries is that you can actually replace your ballast with the small, medium, or large batteries. As we go in and actually look at the three types of batteries here, the weight on them, it's got a mass of 10, which is almost like the blocks you're replacing, a mass of 60, and this one has a mass of 800. So you can actually go down and take like a medium battery take some of that ballast out of the middle of your ship by deleting it real quick and throwing a battery in there of equal weight so you're not actually changing anything up but you're actually getting more storage and this is kind of like preparing for the worst if you have so many batteries stored down there maybe you won't run out of power but the only problem about doing this is if you run all your batteries down to 50 percent then your energy production needs to be very strong to be able to replace all that battery power from all those batteries so it's kind of like not exactly cheating the system but you're just having so much battery power there so you don't really have to ever recharge it so my next tip for conserving energy number six is turn off those lights you're not really using and i mean in real life and in net game life yeah you're not using some lights just turn them off it will help conserve a lot of energy or turn anything you're not using off like anything fancy or advanced like radar systems or something oh yeah the radar system from our new jersey i threw that on my latest build but anyways yeah if you're not using something turn it off so you should have a lot of controls on your ship to be able to turn on and off things and I have a tip that is coming up later on to help you with conserving energy by turning everything off. So my next tip for this number five is not exactly conserving energy but if you ever are in dire need of a jump in your engines your advanced engines won't start because your batteries are flat they're dead you can actually throw on a electric connector onto your boat and all you have to do is connect that up to your batteries and someone else can come out and jump start you basically i figured that out the other day playing with another buddy and it actually works decently well if the other person's boat has a good production of power. So if you just leave that one on for a just-in-case on all of your builds, it will be a good idea. 
Number four on it, even though I am guilty of some of these things myself, the electric motors in the game use so much power. I mean, I'm not joking. I use two small ones here for turning on my large ship, and these things, probably using them to turn for about a minute, will drain this medium battery here. It's crazy. I mean, I had to set up a relay from the main batteries to recharge this. So, electric engines, I mean, they may be decently quick and cool, but the amount of power they use, the power draw is insane. I wouldn't really recommend using them for that much, other than maybe, like, turning power or something, because if you use them for main power, and you don't have a really good energy generation source, then you're going to have a lot of problems actually getting them getting them to have enough power to run. Alright, our number three one on the list that doesn't have an order, for some reason I'm still numbering them. The motorized pivots a lot of people have used for decorative, um, like spinning things for your ships actually do use a lot of power. So on my build here, I did connect it up to a circuit breaker, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But if you just turn them off and don't use them that often, that'll actually save you a lot of energy, as well as most pivots use a lot of power, so just be weary of that when you're building your next ship. And our number two tip here is when you are generating power on a system, you want to connect your power up to a couple gearboxes. The more the better, actually, because if you do have a huge... Uh, if you have a huge engine like this one here, you can connect it up to five, six gearboxes like I have done under my main deck here. And you can connect them back up to your whole plethora of generators here. And that'll actually produce you a lot more power because you are in turn speeding up the axle or the amount of power that is coming out because the generators are running. And a cool trick I learned excuse me, from somebody else's build, is that you can set them automatically to start at the 1 to 3 ratio, and I haven't, I didn't pull up the latest version of this, but anyway, setting them up to the 1.3 at the ratio, 1 would mean it starts at 1.3, but you are going to need a clutch here, of course, with the advanced engines, because you cannot start the engine and everything without getting that clutch in there because it disconnects the engine from those gearboxes and from that because it doesn't actually have enough power to run all those gearboxes when it starts up so you need that clutch there to start it up and my number one tip right here is something i am also guilty of not doing for my latest design is using these circuit breakers here the electrical circuit breakers and i have used a few like the one right in front of me to run one of the small spinning things on the roof of my ship but for main power you do not just want to connect everything up to your batteries like i've done because this is prior to me actually knowing you could connect them up to there and to the exit point so i'll demonstrate real quick how you use one of these with just slapping one on the roof so if you take that and you go back to your thing you can connect the battery to the a side and the B side, you can connect up whatever you want, like say a light or something else. So if you had that light connected to a button now, you have to flip the electrical circuit as well, or the electrical circuit breaker, excuse me, to actually turn on all those lights. So different sections of the ship, different moving parts of the ship, you can all connect those two different circuit breakers. And I've seen a lot of people do that with their most recent builds for the advanced stuff. And it's going to stink converting this entire thing over to running off of the electric circuit breakers here, but it's going to be something I'm going to be doing in the future. And of course, this ship will go up to the workshop once I'm done with it, with all these cool things from the radar, from MNR New Jersey, to all the other different things, like the controls from two different spots in the ship. It did take me a while to build this, but I am getting off on a tangent here. So, of course, if you guys do have any other tips for people that are newer to the game and have problems with their electrical circuits, you, of course, can leave a comment down below. But anyways, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've been ready goodbyes, but people need me, and I need to go.